in our journey through India, exploring its indigenous martial arts. This leg brings the Hyundai Venue IMT to the resplendent western ghats of Maharashtra. The Sahyadris. These very Sahyadris were the inspiration and the space of action for Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj in his 400-year-old struggle for self-rule, the Golden Swarajya. Today, in times of peace, his fighting spirit still echoes in these valleys as a holistic martial art. It survives disguised as a sport known as the Mardani Khel. We are in the historic city of Pune to meet Sri Vijay Aivalim, founder and trainer at Shivaji Raje Mardani Akhada. Having learnt the art from his Ustads in rural Maharashtra, he is dedicated to keeping the art of Mardani care alive and relevant. The army of Swarajya was built mostly of young farmers, hard-working people, slight and firm in body, quick in mind and brave in spirit. Their weapons and fighting techniques had to prove their worth in the passes and forests of the Sayadris. The forms of Mardani Khair use these same weapons and techniques. First amongst these is the humble stick or lati. Easy to find and light to wield. It offers great range. A well-placed strike is disabling. The Dhar Talwar or shield and curved sword were once the basic weapons of war for the infantry. Light, swift and easy to draw. Their alternating movements make for a deadly dance. The dhop is a long double-edged straight sword designed for use from horseback. With its heavy guard and pointed pommel, it is a weapon meant for damage. The Dand Patta is a double-edged sword with a flexible blade and a fully guarded handle. Its wielders practice to bring accuracy to the great swinging motions in both directions. The combat forms of Mardani Khair consider multiple opponents and the movements have evolved to guard attacks from multiple directions. There are also special forms that make teams of two fighters covering each other's backs to create a 360-degree defensive formation. Quick, flowing, decisive motions and extreme situational awareness. These are the hallmark tactics of the Mardani form. <laughs> Mardani Khair has as much space for women as it does for men. Draped in the athletic Nawari Sari, women are trained in the same weapons and the same moves as the men. The martial art is bringing a real sense of confidence to its female practitioners in today's times. Today, young men and women all over Western Maharashtra are getting inspired and dedicating themselves to the art of Mardani Khair. They are putting in the hard work to stay straight and true in body and mind. <laughs> The value of Mardani Khair as a performance art is on the rise, creating new vistas for its students. But above all, 
it seems to be keeping the noble spirit of the Maratha warrior alive.